YOLO V11 from Ultralytics just came out, and it is faster than ever. Let's dive in and learn more about it and how to use it in Python. In this video, I will go over YOLO 11, talk about the different model types and performance, go over the Python code, and finally show you some demo. If you want to learn robotics and AI, check out my website at kevinwoodrobotics.com. If you're new to my channel, I teach robotics and AI, so subscribe to learn more. So YOLO 11 has the open source models as well as the enterprise models, but here you can see the open source models, there's a different tasks that it could perform as before. It could classify things, it could detect objects, it could segment, track, and also do post estimation. Uh, but the main difference here is you can see that the enterprise one, they have five commercially friendly pre-trained models with a larger diverse data set of 1 million images. So that's the main difference. And right now for the enterprise one, they support object detection. So here we take a look at the performance of the YOLO 11 for the different model sizes. So as before, we have the nano, small, medium, large, and extra large. And you can see that this curve is above all the other YOLO models, which we're comparing with the V5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So you can see that it's much better in terms of performance. It's getting faster and faster. And you can see that this is running on the Tensor RT10 for reference. But you can see that you know, it's getting really better. But the main thing is we want to test it out to see if it works for your application. All right, so here's a Python code for YOLO 11. It's super easy to use. You just need to import Ultralytics. And then from there, you call the YOLO command using the YOLO 11 model. And then you could do model.train to train your model. You could set the different uh, epochs and the device settings as you wish also the image sizes, and then from there you could see your metrics by doing the model.val, and you could print out or show your results after that. Okay, so go ahead and check it out for your own and see if it works for your application. So here you can see this is the YOLO V11 model in action, and you can see here that it's doing object detection for the car, so it's pretty nice, and here's another example of the Lamborghini. So you can see that is all of this is running in real time for this model, and it's super good. And you can see this is for object detection, but it could also do other things as we'll see later on. So here you can see that it's doing a segmentation and tracking. So it could track different objects moving around of animals and people. And here's an example of a person riding a horse. And you can also track really small objects here. You can see this is a um, POV of like a drone from up on top. Same thing with cars. It does really well for tracking of tiny vehicles. And you can also see here it does things for post estimation, so it's all very good for different applications. So if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.